Welcome back to Blood and Wine, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me again. We're still in, here in this, uh, what used to be a Hans camp. And um, there's really only one way to get out of here. Well, I guess maybe there's two. There's two cave exits, entrances. Um, so we're going to have to find our way to one of them. And then uh, we will decide what it is we are going to do once we get out of here. I'm just going to go ahead and run out this way because I know that we can get out this way. These uh, barrels are acting weird. Look at that, look at that barrel. Rolling real slow there. So I'm gonna go ahead and run out this way. This is the way we came in. Okay. This is a really cool place. These uh, bandits had a really neat camp here. It's a real shame that Geralt came in and cleared it all out. Take care of some drowners real quick here. Yeah, I was totally not taking them seriously at all. I just wanted to kill them real quick to get them out of my face. So uh, let's go ahead and pick up their goodies. Looks like only one of them dropped something, actually. All right, fine, be that way. I'm going to meditate anyway. Uh, I'm going to take a swallow potion first, get my health up to max, and then I'm going to meditate to uh, get these um, effects off of us. And then we will decide what it is we're going to do. All right, max health. Meditate for an hour. Well, let's look at our map and see where the heck we are in the world. We are here. There are no fast travel points anywhere near here. There's just none. Uh, so we could either run to Fox Hollow, which isn't that far away, let's face it, and then travel someplace else, or we can go ahead and take care of these other undiscovered locations right here. And that is what we are going to do because I don't know when I will be back here again. So if Geralt can cross this stream, well, Geralt crossed that stream without much trouble at all. We'll run up here to this uh, undiscovered location. Oh, another entrance we found? Really? Well, we found ourselves another cave entrance. There's caves all over this place. I don't know... Is this the exit? The other... No, this is a completely different place. I was wondering if maybe I'd somehow ended up over here, but no. So here we are in yet another cave. I uh, have a torch. Let's get it out. See how that works out for us. Here is some um, unrefined copper ore. What do you think we're going to find down here? Oh, there's something crawling around down here. We found another new marker. It said new marker entrance. So there's a, another one. Maybe that's the exit to this cave. And uh, what are these? Uh... Uh, these Kiki Moors down here, they don't like fire. We're gonna. Oh, I meant to catch their eggs on fire. Somehow he managed to catch one of them on fire back there in the background. Whoa, he hits hard. A little bit of whirl going on here. Alright, took him out. Oh, man, maybe I should take these things more seriously. I just came down here thinking I'd just take them out real quick. Here, they're dead. So let's go ahead and destroy their eggs. We don't want any more of these things hatching. I like how they melt, man. That's cool. I like that a lot. All right, loot these guys. Uh, more eggs over here. They burn quite nicely. Now let's see if there's anything down here. Anything uh, quest related? Or is this just a random cave here? Oh, here we go. Here's something. Or is this just telling me that there's stuff here I could burn? Eh, that's all it was telling me. Stuff to burn. And we burned it. Nothing to uh, loot or read down here. 
Seems like every place we visit has some kind of story behind it, so when I find a place that doesn't have a story, I'm skeptical. Yeah. Um, well, apparently we could keep running up this way. Alright, let's see where this takes us. This is the way we came in. I want to see where the other thing is. Why is there a zero up there next to my um, health underneath of it? What's up with that? I don't know. Oh, Geralt. So, where is this other... Here we go. This is the other entrance, I believe. Okay. Different way. We don't need this, the uh, torch anymore, so we'll put that away. Look at our map again. So we just found a random cave there on our way to this marker down here. So let's go ahead and resume our trek over, over here. Ooh, group of wolves to my right. I'm not really interested in fighting them. Come on, girl. Oh, they're chasing. No, nope, they've given up the chase. Birds chirping in the distance. You gotta love it. Hmm. Here's a tree with a cage hanging from it and a guarded treasure. Oops, I pressed the wrong button. Eat a little bit of food, get my health up to max. What are we facing down here? What is that? Give life to me troll. Rabid rock troll. Look at this guy. Probably need some Quinn. Oh, I've done a surprising amount of damage to him, actually. Oh. Troll, I really don't want to fight you, but uh, you started it. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Holy cow, how much damage did that guy do? Yowk. Yowzy, yowza. That was a lot of damage that guy did. Ooh, okay, stupid. Why don't you just stand here and let him hit you with a rock? I was looking up at my health instead of looking at him. What's up, rabid rock troll? Oh, he's stuck. He's stuck on the little stick. Look at that. He can't get past it. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Well, we'll just let him stand over there while um, we let our health rejuvenate here a bit. Bring up a Quinn. Oh. oh, wow. Okay, don't hit him in the back. That does nothing. There. That did 1,000 points of damage. Give life to me, troll. What the heck does that mean? Oh boy. He's coming out swinging. Okay. Get my coin back up. Oh, oh. One more hit ought to do it. There we go. Down he goes. He's a real pretty color. Well, I'm sorry, troll, but you started it. I did not want to kill you. So I guess that symbol underneath of our health up there with the seven is probably the um, the this sword that does this crazy stuff here. Uh, plus 50% attack power versus relics. Okay, I did not realize it did that. But anyway, each blow generates charges, which increases sword damage by 10%. So, I don't know. I don't know where that seven comes from there, but uh, hey, whatever. Troll, loot. Let's go ahead and uh, see what this guy was guarding. The body here. Crowns, rag scrap with writing on it. Well, let's read that. Notes written in blood on a scrap of fabric. On this scrap rent from my own garment, using my own blood and a fragment of bone from some unknown creature, I write a summary of my sad tale, for I shall surely perish forthwith. Perhaps one day a bard shall happen upon it and compose from it a ballad to squeeze tears from the most pitiless miser. 
Some time ago, I spied a monster roaming in proximity to my estate. Upon further investigation, I learned it was a she-troll descended from the Gorgon foothills. I thus scraped together a few crowns and went to the Camerlingo to request he hire a knight errant to slay the monstrosity. Yet, as I was making this journey, said she-troll sprang out of the bushes, knelt down by my horse, and professed something in the garbled speech of trolls that I took to mean she had chosen me as her bow. Since it is most ill-bred to be rude to a lady, even a monstrous one, I declined her politely and was ready to be on my way when she tossed a sack over me, tucked me under her arm, and carried me here to this clearing. She locked me in a cage and stared at me for hours, sending creeping shivers down my spine. So now I slowly starve to death, for while she gives me clear water to drink, my only food is the soup that she troll spends all day brewing, a foul concoction reeking of carrion and onion. I would rather perish than put that slurry to my lips. Oh man, what a way to go. Jeez. That's terrible. That is terrible. Well, we can um, catch this uh, beehive on fire. And uh, maybe loot it while we're here. Might as well get something for our troubles. Some honeycombs from that. Okay. Well, um, that's all there is to this uh, guarded treasure here. Oh, I thought I saw something over there. So let's bring our map back up. And uh, go to this location over here. And then after that, I guess we'll probably have to hop on all roach. And maybe ride on down here to these ruins. And then fast travel to someplace else. But uh, this marker isn't too far away, so we needn't hop on Roach for this. What do you think we're going to find? And there's some enemies down here. A guarded treasure. Guarded by drowners, maybe? What kind of drownery, right? All right, let's take out these drowners. What's up, y'all? Nice try. You missed. All right, get a little bit of whirl going on there. Finish these guys off with my Igni. Nice. You're next. And he's dead. Ouch. And he's dead. I like how they spring away like that. It's hilarious. Loot. And... Loot. And loot. And heal. Loot that. A couple of sacks here to loot. So, nice little camp here. I guess it was overrun by these uh, drowners. Pretty wimpy camp if you can't take care of a couple drowners. Body here. What else we got? Always looking for the story. Boy, these uh, these drowners took care of business. Oh, there's something red in there. We'll go look in there in a moment. Nobody has a note on them? No? Bunch of goodies in here. Loot, loot, looty, loot, loot. Oh, Garrett's excited. Look at him jumping around. Anything else? Okay, this is probably the guarded treasure. Crowns, other stuff. Codex of Loth Halfbreed's Hants. So this is related to his hants somehow. I guess we'll read it. We're chained dogs in russet rags forced to stare into the manners of the rich and rot with jealousy. We toil in their fields for a few pathetic crowns. We've not even got a great war, no great tragedies. Our great war is fought against ourselves. Our great tragedy is our banal existence. Our elders raised us to believe one day we will throw off our weighty burden. But that shall never happen. Slowly we have come to realize this, and that has us rip-roaring with rage. 
Loth's hands gives those who join something in return. It shows them that without pain, without sacrifice, the hants would achieve nothing. That by joining its ranks, they will get what they have always desired. But to grasp this, they must be ready to fight for their lives. Because when you come here for the first time, you must fight. Alright, yep, there we go. Cleared that out. You can look in here. Might as well grab this stuff too. And this stuff. And this stuff. Okay. Well, cleared this area out. Let us look at our map again. And, um, yeah, we are not close to anything. So, I guess we could ride on down here to Fort Aster Ruins and then decide to go where to go from there. We've done a pretty good job of clearing out uh, undiscovered locations. There's still two of them here. And another one over here by our vineyard. Um, yeah, I don't really know what I want to do, to tell you the truth. Um, maybe we'll go here and then we'll go back to Corvo Bianco and check it out since it's been updated. And then from there we could take care of these other, um, undiscovered locations. So we'll just run up here real quick. It's not that far. It won't take us very long to get there. And I'll just run on foot rather than deal with Roach. So these are the ruins that we visited not long ago. As a matter of fact, I think... Were these the ruins where... Um, the uh, Vampire Torture Dungeon was? I can't remember for sure. Goats. Hey, what's up, goats? What's up, my goat? Alright. Here's our fast travel location. Whoops, passed it up. And let's... Oh, whoa, whoa, what's this? Where'd this come from? Alright, well, since we're here, let's go there. That uh, popped up out of nowhere. What's going on over here? New marker, hidden treasure. Oh, there's a hanged band here. Oh, and we got a wraith. Well, I can't jump when there's enemies around, so I need to figure out a way to get over here. I'm coming to you, wraith. Come on, come over here. Oh, I had the wrong thing selected. Earden. Okay, put my circle down. Come on, step into my parlor. Ow. Oh man, that world did the trick there, didn't it? Yowza. Nice. Uh, so there's a body hanging here. What's this guy's story? Journey. Journey. Journal of a Desperate Man. By all means, let's read it. Most of the pages are filled with professions of love made to a woman named Charlotte. Entries are chaotic, undated. Charlotte Cutterin is the love of my life. When she is not near me, I burn with longing. I suffocate with loneliness. I suffer the worst possible torment. How can I make her understand that I, not Albert, am her destiny? Illegible, illegible fragment. I have found a solution. The witch from Link's Crag. She will help me end my heart's agony. Uh oh. I shall now have to tighten my belt several notches, but I have purchased a magic elixir from the witch. She said if I convince my beloved to drink it, I will be able to forget my problems forever. I sold the rest of my possessions and purchased jewels to give Charlotte when I propose. Gods, soon now, she shall be mine. I do not like the way this sounds. As the witch instructed, I mixed the elixir with wine. I prepared a small picnic near the chapel at Cutterin Manor. My beloved agreed to meet to talk to me, but though she drank my enchanted est est, I do not know how to pronounce that, she, still she refused my proposal. She also spouted some nonsense about only becoming my wife when the jewels I gave her grow into grapevines. She fell into a strange, hysterical mood and buried my present with her bare hands by their family chapel. Perhaps I need wait before the elixir takes effect? Gods, curses upon that cruel witch. She cheated me. She betrayed. 
illegible fragment. The next day, I went to Cutter and Manor to see Charlotte, but instead, a woodland monstrosity had taken over the entire property. We've been there. I remember this. We fought it. It was a, um, a Spriggan. So that is the end to my heart's suffering the foul enchantress spoke of. The elixir brought about the death of my beloved, but death, death shall not separate us. I am ready to die, to live with her for all eternity. Illegible fragment, I shall hang for my sins, for love, for Charlotte's. New quest, the suffering of young F Francois. Find the jewels. Well, let's take a look at that quest real quick. Wandering about the primeval forest that covered the duchy's frontier, the witcher made a discovery most macabre. Deep in the forest, a small hut. Alongside the hut, a tree. Upon the tree, a hanged man. On the ground directly beneath the corpse lay a journal. Geralt read it, and all became clear. An unhappy, unrequited love had pushed the young man to commit suicide. Ah, I know so many stories that echo this one. Yet this one differed from the others, and that evil powers were involved. The journal also mentioned a stash of buried jewels, so Geralt resolved to learn more and directed his steps towards the estate the diary described. I think we've already been to that estate, but apparently we didn't find the jewels. That estate is right here. Well, I guess we'll run over there then. Fine game, I'll go ahead and do that. The game that keeps on giving and Geralt keeps on taking. Um, loot. And, yeah. Oh, man, there's a ton of stuff to loot here. I'm taking it all. See any reason to leave it for somebody else. We could take it and we could sell it. Maybe we could use it to craft something. Importance. More stuff to loot over here. Get a little bit of uh, this. Whoa. Did you hear that noise? Sounded, sounded like maybe a monster somewhere, huh? Maybe. Maybe not. Uh, we are going to run in this direction because this is where the jewels are buried. And we'll see what happens up here. Find the jewels. Yeah. Well, somebody's standing over there. Got my Witcher senses. Um, something to loot there. Loot. Oh, that's it, huh? We found them. Alright. Well, we found a ruby and a diamond, a bunch of florins, a whole bunch of crowns. Look how many crowns. And some other stuff. We shall take it all. For it now belongs to us. Alright. Well, let's bring our map back up here. And, um... Yeah. Run back over here. And then we'll fast travel over to Corvo Bianco. And we'll see what the place looks like now. And maybe there... Would, will be even more upgrading we can do. And now that we have more money, it should be no problem to do that upgrading. Okay, over to Corvo Bianco. Ah, beautiful sky. So, let's see here. There's some geese here. The uh, stables were supposed to have been um, upgraded as well. I don't remember if this is what this place looked like before. Um, okay, let's go up to our house. Okay, here's the stable. Oh yeah, look at these stables now. Wow, look amazing. Um, I'm going to uh, meditate till day daybreak so I can actually see. There we go. Look at that. What do you think, Roach? Do you like it? What do you think? We got a worker in here. Hey. You're supposed to be working. Well, it is 6 a.m. It's okay. He doesn't have to start working at 6 a.m. 
We got an old man here. Greetings and welcome. Oh, I thank you. Thank you for welcoming to my own home. Welcoming me to my own home. Uh, ooh. Interesting. Why does the place look like this? Is it still under construction? That's weird. Let's look at this quest. This one is called No Place Like Home. Yeah, we're just supposed to talk to the Major Domo. Okay. Well, it doesn't look finished to me. It does look like maybe they've added on to it. It looks bigger on the outside than it is on the inside. Let's go in. See what's going on. Hey, Marlena. How you doing? Oh, we're supposed to check in on her. We have a quest for that, too, don't we? Uh, the, uh, the Hunger Game. So, remember, we decided not to kill that white and uh, Marlena... Um, we, we cured the, her of the curse, so let's see how she's doing. I do not know how I will ever repay you, Witcher. Don't expect to be paid. Hope you're feeling better, that's all. Oh, yes, I feel my strength returning thanks chiefly to Barnabas Basil's care. Horrible ordeal you endured. Glad I cut it short. Yes, years of suffering. You know what was worse than the hunger? Watching my loved ones, my children grow old and die. All my family's long gone now. The last of my kin perished decades past. I fear I've nowhere to go. Um, you can stay here. This is a big house, big estate. You can stay here. Truly? I could never infringe so on your hospitality. Yet... Yeah. After all I've suffered, the years of starvation, I've but one dream. At last to prepare food that fortifies, nourishes, to delight in the tastes and smells of spices, to sit at one table with others and eat. Hmm. Don't see a problem if that's your dream. You could help Barnabas Basil in the kitchen. Eating his meals. You know he's not a culinary virtuoso. Nothing could make me happier. Thank you. No, thank you. House could use a woman's touch. I've one other thing I'd like to tell you. Many years ago, my father assembled valuables for my diary. I never wet, so they remained unclaimed. These baubles are no use to me now. But to you, well... Perhaps let them be a token of my gratitude. If you wish to find them, you must go to my old home, to Trastamara. The dowry lies hidden in a barrel in the cellar. There are several barrels. You must give each a knock until you find the right one. Do just that. Thanks. Uh, well, let's ask her some questions. You sure you don't feel lonely out here? I cannot say yet. Too little time has passed since you freed me of my thrall. But somehow, for now at least, I do not feel drawn to the city, to others. Visited others' homes as a white. Yes, but ever at night, when all were asleep, I went in search of spoons. Remember, you can always change your mind. Decide you've lived here long enough, just say the word. I'd never wish to seem ungrateful. And I'd never want you to stay against your will. Carol's so nice. I'd never expect someone with your past to feel drawn to the kitchen. Do you fear I will cook in your home as I brewed <laughs> as a white? Counting on you having slightly better taste as a human. Of that, you can be sure. I loved cooking, even as a child. My gran was a true master in the kitchen. Her spit-roasted oaks was famed throughout the land. Thought you were a lady, owned an estate. Do you mean to say a woman of my rank should have had a cook? You're right, of course. And I had the best of cooks. But I devised the dishes myself. They only prepared them. Well, I sure am glad we saved her. See you later. Take care, Witcher. And remember, you always have warm food awaiting your return. Nice. So this is cool that the game is sending me back to the Trastamara estate because uh, I had forgotten 
that there was a cellar that I did not go into because I was too busy chasing the white out of the building to see if uh, we had lifted its curse. And after that happened, uh, we immediately traveled back here and then I totally forgot about going down into that basement and seeing what was down there. So it's pretty awesome that the game is uh, going to send me back there anyway. Pretty awesome. This place is quite nice. Um, is this, uh, this is the kitchen. What if we talk to her again? I thank you for letting me stay. I cannot remember when last I was this happy. Uh, okay, well, we already asked her all this, so take care. See you later. Take care, Witcher. And remember, you always have warm food awaiting your return. Okay, that's nice. Let's go talk to Barnabas, a.k.a. BB, And uh, we'll switch back over to uh, that quest here, just because I like to keep track of things that way. Talk to the Major Domo. What's up? Renovations coming along all right. I am delighted to inform you we have completed our labors. You can now devote yourself to enjoying the vineyard's delights to the fullest. You must forgive me my temerity, sir, but I thought with all the work on Corfo Bianco completed and with the estate looking more beautiful than ever, it might be appropriate to commemorate the moment. Uh, sure, we should celebrate. Sure, why not? During the tidying that preceded the renovations, I came across a bottle of Sapramento, the 1250 vintage. I cannot say by what miracle it survived, but it is here. And we have course to open it today. All right, let's get drunk. And then he ran straight into the crowd, burning bouquet in hand. All thought it a part of the performance, so they only laughed even when the decor began to catch fire. It was not until the flames engulfed Baron Mahevkin's beard that folk began to realize something was amiss and went to put out the fires. <laughs> Sounds like Monsieur Bolius and Madame Nina threw some first-rate balls here. It was so. In this regard, Baron Rossell was decidedly more reserved. So tell me, Barnabas Basil, what's the wine situation like here? Am I going to produce any this year? This year is out, I fear, sir. Last autumn, a fungus destroyed all the vines. Baron Rossell had new ones planted, but it will be some time before they start bearing fruit. Assuming that is, the fungus does not reappear. Mm, that'd be bad. This Sepramento got me dreaming. It's amazing. Isn't it, though? Allow me to top you off, sir. There. Thanks. Now I want some wine. Well, that was just lovely. So did we complete the, uh, there's no place like home? Quest updated. Quest completed. Okay, well, that is it for, um, upgrading our home here. And, uh, he is not someone we could talk to anymore. But, uh, we can loot this, and it's grayed out, so I'm assuming that we've already read it, even though I don't remember reading it. But I don't remember a lot of things. So this place looks a lot bigger from the outside than it does from the inside, if you ask me. Because you go in and there's like three rooms. So let's just go back in again. Yeah. Apparently I've found myself on the other side of this fence. That's not a problem, though. So I don't remember... Um, uh, there's like some gardens here, and I remember at one point we had an opportunity to, um, you know, fix them back up. Um, well, they look nice, I guess, um, ooh, winter cherry, I don't remember that. I guess we did do it. Huh. Alright, I don't remember. Yeah, it looks nice. Looks real nice. Man, how's it all, all of a sudden, 8.39pm? Must have spoken to that... Marlena for a long time. Alright, so I just want to go back in here. Um, see if our bedroom looks any different. Because we got a new bed. Oh, there's our new bed. It is bigger, I guess. Pretty nice, maybe. 
We still have no trophies. Um, we can... No, these are all trophies. Some place we could put more of our weaponry. But I don't know where. We could put... Oh, maybe right here. Let me see. Weapon rack. Let's uh, hang this thing up. There. And actually... I could probably hang this up too since I'm not using it anymore. Eh, sure, why not. Um... Huh. Well, I'll hang this ancient elven shield right here. That is lovely. I love it. Love what you've done with the place, Geralt. Well, let's just hang some stuff up here. Why not? There. Just because it looks nice. There's a little dining room. Lovely. Very homey. I don't have anything else I could hang. We'll have to see if we can't find something at some point. Ooh, look how these nice these stairs are. So I guess this is probably our guest room. Which is looking quite lovely. Very nice indeed. Well, that'll do it for upgrading uh, good old Corvo Bianco. Um, I was kind of hoping we could do some more. But uh, this is it. But as we find paintings and trophies and such, we'll put those in there. So let's bring our map back up, and uh, not far from here is another undiscovered location, so uh, let's go ahead and travel on over to it. How am I looking health-wise? Good, we're good health. And uh, down here, which one is it? This table, if I do this one... I get extra swallow and such. And then I know I have these uh, mutations here. And a couple of people have given me suggestions on what to do here. But um, I always read my comments like in the morning. And then I play late at night. And by the time I play, I don't remember a single thing that people told me. <laughs> So, um, yeah, uh, I use my signs a lot, so I am tempted to go ahead and do this one and we're going to want to research more than one of these anyway, aren't we? I mean, I could do signs and combat, can't we? Um, this will take two of my six ability points and two greater blue mutagens. This will take two of my ability points. Uh, this will, let's see, sword attacks deal 25% more damage. To human opponents, immune to counterattacks and monsters. In all other cases, if the attacker's vitality is less than 25%, a counterattack. See, this means nothing to me, because I, I I don't think I do counterattacks. I don't I don't do that. This here, science can deal critical hits, their critical hit chance, and damage increase with sign intensity. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Research mutation. Ooh. Well, achievement unlocked weapon W. And now we can go here if we want. Piercing cold. When Ard Sign is cast, it additionally has a 25% chance of freezing opponents. Opponents knocked down and frozen simultaneously die immediately. Opponents who are not frozen are dealt an additional 3,116 damage. Holy cow! But well, that takes three more ability points. That's a lot of ability points, man. Sheesh. Toxic blood. Each time you are injured in melee combat, the attacking opponent receives damage in the amount of 1.5% of damage dealt for every point of your toxicity level. Sheesh. Uh, I'm not... This one, this one means nothing to me. It's just about counterattacks, and I, I don't play that way. You know, it's... it's I, I don't know, I just feel like it's too tedious to try to do the whole parry and counterattack business, so I never do it. So I'm not really tempted to go here, but if I get this one, then I could go to Bloodbath. Each fatal blow dealt by a sword dismembers the enemy or activates a finisher. Each blow dealt by a weapon in melee combat increases attack power by 5% until combat ends to a maximum of 250%. The bonus is lost if you take damage. Well, I'm always taking damage. This one sounds exciting. 
but I hate the thought of it using three ability points. Um, so should I do piercing cold or should I do, let me see, how do I get back to the other, the other screen? Or should I put more points into whirl? I'm tempted to put more points into whirl. Um, matter of fact, that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. I'm going to go ahead and do it. I've got four points to spend. Let's get this up to five. Let's do it, man. Well, what did I just do? What happened? Whoa. What did I just do? Uh, I think I had something selected that I didn't mean to have selected. Huh. I think... Okay, I think I want that there. Um, my whirl is... How did my whirl end up here? I think this is... How did this... I think I want my whirl here. Oh, what's this? Hard. I don't... I thought I had this here. There we go. I want my pyromaniac stuff over here so I get sign intensity of plus 40%. All right, I must have had the wrong thing selected when I thought I was upgrading this. Uh, upgrade. Yes. Upgrade. Yes. So let's get this up to five, man. Let's do as much damage as we can with Whirl. I've been trying to use it more. Okay. You know, we're leveling up still pretty fast, I feel like, so it won't be long before I get more points. So our Whirl's up to five. Spinning attack that strikes all foes in the surrounding area. Maintaining the attack consumes stamina and adrenaline. Consumes 50% lets stamina and adrenaline. Adrenaline point gain plus 5%. Yahoo. Alright, well. That's what I did. Let's uh, go ahead and take Roach out for a ride. It'd be cool if uh, Roach had maybe more stamina or something as a result of the better um, stables. And maybe he does. I just don't know it. So we're going to run over here. In the dark. Man, I hate I hate running around at night. Hate it. Okay, we've got some arch spores over here. So, um, I feel like I've already fought these arch spores. Why are they back? Let's go here. We'll put some uh, insectoid oil on our cool silver sword. And we'll get our Quen ready. Ouch. And we'll see if I can't make it over this ravine or whatever it is here, this creek. So, boy, there's a lot of these here. Ah, man, he went under before I could get the full effect of my whirl. Did I kill that one? No. Holy cow, these things hit hard. This arch spore here, just a little bit of health left. Okay, we killed one of them. Where's the other ones? There's a ton of these things over here. to back up a little bit. Get my Quinn back. Need to get a little bit of health here. Come on, health. Man, there's a lot of these things here. Oh, oh, stuck. Alright, back it off. Okay, we killed another one. Get a little bit more health up here. Get my coin back. Geralt, don't put your sword away. You're not done yet. At least I'm... Huh? Are we done? I thought there were like four of these here. Let's uh, take care of this monster nest before oh, they come back. Sprout again. Should destroy the area if I want to get rid of them for good. Yeah, let's destroy the area, man. I, I could have swore we already did this here, but maybe I forgot to do the monster nest. Alright. Took care of this monster nest. Let's get some goodies. Okay, cleared this place out. Get a little bit more health. Bring our map back up. And now, um, I guess we're going to run all the way up here. And we'll take care of these last two uh, undiscovered locations in this area. Um, I can't remember if one of these is part of the Vermentino thing.
No, they're not. Where is the last Vermentino thing? Oh, it's way down here. Huh, I wonder why it's way down there. Oh, no. <sighs> Apparently, I didn't pick it. Um. Well, sure enough, this is the last one of those. And like I said in a previous episode, I'm not sure I want to do this because I worry that if I do this one, then I won't be able to do any of these. Although I have a feeling that these are going to stay on the map regardless. They're going to stay on the map as uh, undiscovered locations regardless. So maybe I shouldn't even worry about it. All right, where did Roach go? He is on the other side of this creek, so he'll never make it over here. Let's go back to Roach. I'm over here, Roach. Okay, we'll get our health maxed out. We'll do a quick meditate till daylight so I can see what the heck I'm doing. Much prefer to run around this beautiful countryside in the daytime. Thanks for waiting, Roach. Come on, and now we're going to run over here to this undiscovered location. Coming through. What's What are we going to find over here? Oops, pardon me. Like a little little building here. Come on now. Vineyard infestation. Well, we gotta do this again. Oh, giant centipedes. Ouch. about that. Climb back up. I love chopping them in half. It's the best. It is so great. Oh, I hate it when they do that. I'll stop it. Ah, chop you in half. That is nasty, man. That is some nasty, nasty stuff. Clear that up. Loot this guy. And, um... Giant centipede spawning ground. Should destroy it. You should destroy it, Geralt. If you know what's good for you, you'll destroy it. Yay! Geralt. Cleaning up messes everywhere he goes. He's the best. Oh, here comes this guy over here to thank us. What's up, bro? We, uh, I... Thank you. <laughs> we, uh, I... And, um, what's going on over here? Huh. Oh, wow. These cool windmills. I was wondering what was making this noise. It's these cool windmills here. Neat. Can't go in them. Not that one, anyway. Pretty neat. Can we go into this one? No, but there's a few things we could loot here. Bags of green. Well, isn't that neat? Well, all right. I'm gonna sit here and enjoy these windmills, and uh, end my episode here. We come back next time. Uh, I don't know. Maybe we will leave that one for later. I don't know. I'll leave that one for later. Um. Next time, uh, what I'll do is we will look through our quests. We have so many of them, and uh, we'll pick one of them to do. So make sure you join me next time. Hope you enjoyed this play session. If you did, why don't you be so kind as to let me know by leaving a like or a comment. Thanks for watching. I hope you join me again in the next episode.